Hey, hey, what's up? It's Randy. What's going on, man? How you guys doing? And welcome to another episode of my channel. Guess what time it is? It's lunchtime once again. I got something pretty cool today. Um, I got the, uh, I've heard about these. A friend of mine told me about them a while back and then my girlfriend just tried them not too long ago. Uh, but they're the um, Little Caesars Bites, little puff bites, I think they call them. Uh, I'll figure out the name of it for sure, but I think they're called the puff bites, but they're pretty reasonably priced. And then I also am gonna try the Little Caesars cookie dough brownie. It looks delicious. I see it right here on my seat. Oh my God, you guys are gonna love it. But anyway, it's 12 o'clock somewhere. Let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Crazy Puffs is what they're called. The Crazy Puffs. And there is the brownie. Now, the guy recommended the Twix. There's a Twix and an m, m And he said that he preferred the Twix because it had caramel and the cookie and all that kind of stuff on it and uh the m&ms just had the m &Ms, so but anyway let's hold it up crazy puffs Woo! brownie let's get a good thumbnail going here all right well yeah let's take this out i'm super hungry i am like extremely hungry oh and i also got a soda i did bring a a, a diet dr pepper but um I was kind of thinking it's not going to be enough soda because I need a little extra caffeine. So I ended up buying one with the meal and I'll go over the price with it with you guys in a few minutes. And he gave me uh, several napkins and I thought it was going to come with um, one ranch, but he says it comes with marinara. And I was like, oh, bummer. Uh, is there any way I could get a ranch? And he says, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a ranch. So he gave me the ranch, and but I didn't take the marinara. I, I didn't really... I don't think it really sounds good to dip it in the marinara personally, but ranch on the other hand, woohoo! All right, let me take these glasses off. I did find a nice shady spot. It's hard to kind of find a shady spot around because it's so freaking hot. It's extremely hot around here. Today's gonna be like 106, whoo! But I'm over at the Sunrise Mall. You can always rest assured that you can find a good shady place at the Sunrise Mall because the parking lot's huge and there's several trees so I found a pretty good spot all right let's uh let's do this and there's the soda right there and it, now it wasn't any kind of combo meal I wish they would have some something like that but it wasn't like that uh but you just buy these little bites uh, crazy puffs and then you have to buy everything separate, like if you want a drink or um, or the brownie or anything like that. But I'm gonna show you these things. Look at that. Woo -hoo! Man, they look tasty. Oh my gosh. Cooked to perfection. Look at that. Yeah, the dude in there was super nice, super nice. And uh, it goes a long ways. I've talked about this before, but Man, good customer service really does go a long ways, especially with me. I think with just any, just about anybody, if you're polite and you kind of, you know, just him giving me the ranch, you know, that 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 went a long ways. You know, I mean, they were charging a dollar for each one of those, each one of these, a dollar. Can you believe that? And I thought, uh, here we go again. I'm gonna have to pay a dollar for a ranch for a little cup of little cup of ranch. But he's like, no, let me give it to you. That goes a long ways. I'm telling you, I will go back to that guy's place. I swear, I will. <coughs> All right, got plenty of napkins. Got the little Caesar napkins. Got the soda. All right, let's dig in. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. I gotta figure out how to open this thing. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I guess. 
does not open quite like I thought it would, huh? Oh, that's weird. That's all right. We have ranch. We have ranch. Don't want to spill it all. I always got to lick the top. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty good ranch. It's kind of interesting, interesting flavor. I like it, but it's different. It doesn't taste like normal ranch. <clears throat> and here we go. A little crazy puff. These things are crazy. Look at them. He's smiling. Let's get a couple other up here. Ooh. Yeah. Love this stuff. Mmm. Oh. Man, that's good. Looks like it's got just pep <coughs> pepperoni and cheese. Excuse me. Mm. Man, that's good. I got my Diet Pepsi. And they were pretty cold in their cooler. Ah, nice and refreshing. Yes. All right, let's take a few, let's take a few more bites of this here. And then that brownie, woo, that, that looks good. Mmm. Man, that's good. I have to say the ranch is, is different though. It doesn't have a, it's good. But it does not have a kind of a traditional ranch flavor. It tastes a little bit more like, I don't know how to describe it. It's different. Maybe a little dill in there, maybe, I don't know. As you can see, I'm wearing the Cowboys. This was the, uh, oh, I forget what they call it. Where they support the veterans, the wounded veterans and stuff every year. This was 2022, I think, is when I bought this one, or 2021, can't remember. But it's a cool looking hat, it's got the American flag. And it fits good. But what I'm doing, along with having a winter-like atmosphere in my vehicle right now, I am manifesting football season. That's why I'm wearing this hat. <laughs> I cannot wait for football season. Oh my God. Because what comes along with football season is cooler weather. I'm over this freaking heat, man. We're having another week, another week of 106. 107, 108. Oh my gosh. When will it end? But I know once summer ends, then I'll be kind of bummed out. I'll be like, oh, summer's gone already. Oh man. <coughs> but then I'll just think, football season's here and everything will be all right. It'll make me feel just, just fine. Mmm. I have to say it's pretty good. The ranch is different, but it is good. Not quite sure what I think of the ranch, actually. So bad, though. Oh, yeah.
they give you four of these little bites crazy puffs I love the the crusty stuff on the top all right and then I got that brownie man I've, I've been thinking about that as soon as I looked up and I saw that I was like Oh, cookie dough brownie. That's like one of my... I love cookie dough. I can sit and eat cookie dough plain without even being cooked. You know, just the cookie dough. Uh, that's kind of like one of my favorite like dessert treats is just like raw cookie dough. <laughs> they say sometimes it's not that good for you, but I think they make some that you can eat, like the ones that you buy in the tubes and the in the uh in the stores like pillsbury or whatever they are or the walmart brand or whatever they have a few but i think on those they say that you can eat them uh raw it, it's okay to eat them raw i guess they change something in it i think it was because of the raw eggs or something like that i'm not sure it used to be that they said it's not good to eat it but man i could eat a whole tube of that stuff in like one sitting seriously Mm. I have to say I was kind of worried about this being um, filling me up but, but the browning is actually pretty good size and four of these surprisingly is you know it's it's pretty pretty decent size I think I'm going to be okay I'm not going to starve to death or nothing. Yeah, I think the ranch actually has a little bit of dill flavor in it. That's what's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like I said, it's not bad, but it's not what you would expect. It's different. And it's been a while since I've tried... Little Caesar Ranch, I think. All right, let's take a take a swig of this stuff. Get the caffeine juices flowing. I think I'm so addicted to diet soda. It just goes so good with like pizza and that kind of stuff, burgers, everything. I mean, it really is, compliments it well, very well. Kind of like that champagne and KFC last week. How'd uh, you guys like that one? <coughs> if you have not watched that, go check that one out. That is an incredible treat for like a a weekend, you get home from work, you're asking the wife, you know, what should we eat tonight? What should we eat? You could always go get a bucket of chicken and some some champagne and uh, and have that. That was really good. Or you could go to K uh, Little Caesars and get these little crazy puffs right here. But, um, Yeah, if you haven't watched that one from last week, try to try to check that one out if you can. Mmm. Winter-like atmosphere in this vehicle. Mmm. -hmm. little bite of this sucker mm. the 
That is incredible. Set that down there. Got plenty of napkins. All right. Now let's check this out. It's called the Cookie Dough Brownie, and this one happens to be the Twix one. This is the one he recommended. <coughs> but it's actually, I'm kind of surprised. It's a lot more to it than I thought there would be, actually. I honestly thought there was only going to be two of these squares. You know, I thought that that's what they would consider a serving. But no, you get, you get four of these suckers, man. I'm digging in, man. I'm digging in. Let's do it. Ooh, I can smell the sweetness already. Ooh, there we go. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Ooh. Twix brownie. It's got a layer of cookie dough. Like, I'm telling you, this is like made just for me. Oh. Oh, yeah. It does not get much better than that right there. As far as desserts go, whoo, that's incredible. Mmm. Another thing is, is I've, I've been reading, uh, not reading, but I mentioned in my last video that I've been doing the audiobooks. I I recently read um, or listened to. I had Darius Rucker read me his book. He released a really good um, memoir, you know, autobiography or whatever you call it. Good book, really good book, and, and I found a lot about his life and Hootie and the Blowfish and, and uh, their rise to fame. And, and at the time when they got so famous, I was just like, you know, where did these guys come from? I didn't really know a whole lot about them or anything. And, and I wasn't like a huge fan of them, but I liked them. And I liked, you know, they had some really good songs, I thought, that were really catchy songs. And, uh, but there's the one song, <clears throat> Only Wanna Be With You, where he says, uh, it goes, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm crazy. Or no, sometimes you're crazy and you wonder why. I'm such a baby because the dolphins make me cry. Well, anyway, I thought he was, <laughs> all this time I was thinking, oh, this guy's, you know, I kind of relate to this guy. He's kind of a sensitive singer, songer, songwriter guy, you know. And uh, he looks at, because uh, I've had moments like that where you kind of, you see like nature in action, like dolphins swimming or something like that, and, and you kind of tear up. You're, you're just like, that makes me cry, you know, for some reason. I've had situations like that. So I was related to that lyric for that reason. <laughs> but it's really not that reason at all. <laughs> the, dolphin, the swimming dolphins don't make him cry. It turns out Darius Rucker is a Miami Dolphins fan. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh my gosh. I found out that from this book. Now, all you people that out there that have listened to Hootie and the Blowfish, they're like one of the top selling albums, Cracked Rear View, their first album. It's like one of the, it's like Michael Jackson's Thriller. I mean, it's sold so many copies. It's like one of the best selling albums of all time. <clears throat> now, I'm sure all you guys out there have probably realized that maybe, but I had no idea. I thought the dolphins made him cry. <laughs> And I was like, I can relate to that, man. Like I said, you know, I see nature in action. I could shed a few tears. I, I swear I can. And, and I don't think that's just part of being human. I, heck, I'm crying right now. I'm, I'm bawling my head off. <laughs> but anyway, turns out he's a Miami Dolphins fan. He's a Miami Dolphins fan. 
It all makes sense. He's such a baby because the dolphins make him cry. <laughs> and I can relate to that too, man, because the cowboys, <laughs> uh, they've made me cry many, many times. I can relate. I'm such a baby, the cowboys make me cry. Whew, I, that was like a mind blown revelation, man. It really was. I mean, I, I, had, I had no idea that he was a Miami Dolphins fan. I didn't even put that two and two together or one and one together, man. I didn't even think of that. So, but, you know, like I said, they weren't my favorite band, but I liked them and I listened to them all the time. You know, I, in fact, I even think I went with one of my friends to one of their concerts at Cal Expo. Uh, I do remember that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen them in concert and everything. So, yeah. But Darius Rucker, what a great guy, man. What a great uh, talent. He went on to be, he had like five number one country albums. I mean, he took the country world by storm, man. He had so many, so many great hits in the country music scene. And uh, for a black artist um, to, to do that is pretty incredible, man. It, it, it's, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome, really. But yeah, I thought his book was really good. So if you're on Audible, check out his book. <clears throat> it was one of the free credits I got. I talked about Dave Grohl's uh, book before, and I had gotten that one a while back as one of the credits, and I ended up listening to that. And that one was really good. I was really uh, impressed with that one. But the Darius Rucker book is, is really good. You'll find out a lot about Hootie and how they just rose from being basically a little kind of a dorm room, kind of playing a few country songs for their friends in the dorm rooms, to going across the street to a bar that they all used to hang out with that never even had bands before but then once they started playing they kind of developed them as the house band and um yeah it's it's crazy and then they just took off from there so pretty pretty amazing story really and uh, of, of huge success but this is melting here but uh yeah look at this back to, back to the enough of me babbling about stuff we got work to do here. <laughs> we got work to do. Check it out. Mm. Mm. So sweet. I think I'm going to do one more. I'm going to save the rest. I could force it down, but this might be a good little treat for later. But look at that, man. Cookie dough, Twix, and brownie. What more could you want? <clears throat> that's, that's just incredible. There's not too much more you could ask for in life. <laughs> Cookie dough, Twix, and brownie. Mmm. Yeah, that blew my mind about Darius Rucker, man, about that song. I didn't even put it put it together. <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> it turns out I probably never even seen the video because the video, he's wearing a Miami Dolphins shirt. And I've probably seen the video too, but I just never, it just never dawned on me. I just never drew the, the comparison for some reason of that line. Man, that's so good. <clears throat> I'm gonna be in a sugar coma, I think, after that. <clears throat> but I got a few errands to run. I think I'm just gonna call it good right there. That was actually a really satisfying lunch, a really good lunch. These little cra crazy puffs, the cookie dough brownie, a nice Diet Pepsi with it. Oh, let me go over the price real quick. Oh, they even gave me a little, uh, 
or they had these on the counter, but goes wherever you go. And it's like the crazy puffs. It's like a little flyer that they hand out or something like that. But they are $3.99 plus tax. Pretty good price, I think. Because I feel fairly, fairly full from that. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. We got the pepperoni crazy puffs for $3.99. 20 ounce beverage for $2.24. That's about, about what you pay like at a gas station too. Yeah, it's not, not too bad for the soda, I guess about average and then the cookie dough brownie I thought the price was a little high at the time but the fact that they give you four pieces I'm totally okay with the price 589 for the for the brownie <coughs> but I was thinking they only give you two of those little squares and I thought it would be a little different but when he pulled that out and I was in, in out of the freezer he came right from the freezer too um, and had four pieces. I was like, hell, heck yeah, that's that's a good deal. All right, so the whole thing before tax, twelve twelve, <clears throat> tax was forty eight cents. The total was twelve sixty. Not too bad for. I, I, I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that a good lunch is going to cost you anywhere from ten to twelve dollars, unless you have some sort of coupon or something like that. So overall, not bad. I feel pretty, pretty satisfied, pretty, pretty full. I could definitely eat a few more of those little crazy bites, for sure, crazy puffs. But um, you know, I didn't want to buy two. I guess I could have bought eight of them. You know, that would have been pretty good. But then it starts adding up a little bit more if you get the brownie and then the soda and everything. So then you're up into the seventeen, twenty dollar range. <laughs> but I could definitely eat four more for sure. But anyway, it was really good. If you haven't tried the Crazy Puffs, go ahead and give them a try. It's a pretty decent price for like a quick lunch. And um, yeah, I love Little Caesars, man. It's kind of one of my go-to places for lunch and stuff. And uh, and uh, yeah, this, this particular location I went to is a different one than I usually go to. But uh, the guy was super nice and uh, like I said, uh, cust good customer service goes a long ways it really does and um if any of the other <laughs> little caesars ever watch this video i doubt it you know no one no one watches my videos <laughs> but anyway um that's just or any fast food in general man give good cuffs customer service give people good customer service it will go a long ways it will so uh anyway i'm gonna call it good I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me on my lunch. I appreciate it, man. It's been fun hanging out with you. It feels like we're just kind of right here together. And um, uh, yeah, I think we're going to just call it good. I, I appreciate you hanging out. Um, you know the usual stuff. Please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, uh, leave a comment if you want. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Some of the videos will be popping up here. Um, my last week one, if you haven't seen that KFC one yet, give that one a, a watch if you can. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.